good morning today we are class of class 7 topic is tissue in the subject biology tissue actually comes from a group of cells working together last year you studied about cells a group of cells working together we called a tissue They have common origin They have common structure And they have common function A group of cells having common origin, common structure and common function is called a tissue. From that point of view, we have got tissues, say blood. Blood is a tissue. Blood is made up of three different kinds of cells, that is erythrocytes, leukocytes and thrombocytes. Blood has two parts, blood plasma and blood cells. Blood cells are of three types. Erythrocytes, we commonly call red blood corpuscles. Leukocytes, <coughs> it is called white blood corpuscles and thrombocytes commonly called platelets as cells they have different functions this is carriage of oxygen This is protection and this prevents excess loss of blood from the body. Simply we call it by blood clotting. But these are not the functions of tissue as a unit. These are not the functions of tissue as a unit. This is actually individual cell function. But as a unit, blood carries nutrients, to the cell. Blood removes metabolic wastes from the cell. Blood maintains internal pressure of the body. Also, it is responsible for thermoregulation.
control of temperature thermoregulation is control of temperature so these are the functions of blood as a tissue these are the individual functions of the cell but those four are the function as a group so we call blood as a perfect tissue it is made up of a group of cells they have got all have got common origin they have got common structure as animal cells they have got common structure and function these are the common functions of the blood but this topic we will be having in the next class today we will be doing plant tissue plant tissues there are two different types of plant tissue it is meristematic and permanent meristematic tissue also called meristem in short there are three types apical meristem lateral meristem and intercalary meristem meristematic tissue normally is found in the growing regions of the plant growing regions we call the zone of cell division and zone of elongation they are the main growing zones of the plant apical meristem as the name suggest it is found in the apices of root and stem and it is meant for primary growth that is growth in length lateral meristem also called cambium it is meant for secondary growth growth in thickness or gut an intercalary meristem found well lateral meristem is found either in between xylem and phloem or in between vascular bundles intercalary meristem found at the base of 
enter node and performs two functions. namely elongation of internode and also helps in growth of an axillary bud. So either it is for the growth of the internode, elongation of the internode or it is the growth of an axillary bud seen in the axil of the leaf. So these are the three different types of meristematic tissue, apical meristem. Apical meristem is found in the apices, means the tips of root and shoot. It is meant for growth in the height, in the length. Lateral meristem is found in between the between xylem and phloem or in between the vascular bundles. It is responsible for the secondary growth, growth in thickness or growth in girth. And last but not the least, it is the intercalary meristem, which has two functions. One is One is it is elongation of the internode and other is growth of an axillary bud. These are the three major meristems in plants. Characteristic features of meristem. Cells are comparatively smaller. They are living cells cell wall is thin and is made up of cellulose number four Nucleus is large and prominent. Number five, the cells are rich in cytoplasm. Number six, Argustic substances, vacuoles are normally not found. And number seven, which is very important function, cells are in a state of active division.
these are the seven features of meristematic cells. If we see them in a the plant, at the tip of the shoot, this is shoot system, this is the apical meristem. You can call it as terminal meristem as well. This is a lateral meristem. This is the intercalary meristem. This is a node and this is internode. 